Hi friends, welcome to my channel NML and my courses with Nangmani. Today I am going to start new subject that is strength of materials. And in this subject I am going to explain some problems, uh, how to find the forces acting on a member and uh, how to draw a free body diagram and uh, how to calculate uh, shear force diagrams and bending moment diagrams. I am going to explain in this subject. So here if you see the definition of strength of materials it is the branch of applied mechanics which deals with the study of internal resisting force and deformation which is developed due to externally applied load that means if you take one member and if it is fixed and if you apply force on this member some force on this member this body is going to deform so how much deformation is going to occur in this member when we applied external load this type of deformation we are going to calculate in this strength of materials so before going to uh, start this strength of materials i will give brief knowledge about applied mechanics like uh, what are the types of uh, supports and uh, what are the types of beams and uh, how to draw a free body diagram those things we will learn in this class now we will see types of supports there are four types of supports here one is sim simple support and second one is roller support third one is hinge or pin support fourth one is fixed support and this simple support is also called as frictionless support okay and simple support can be uh, shown as like if you take one beam which is resting on some which is resting on some member this is nothing but simple support and roller support can be expressed as this way in this way roller support can be indicated and the hinged support here if you see if you take one beam hinged support can be represented like this and for fixed support this is the fixed one and here the beam okay in this way simple support can be represented like this and roller support uh, can be represented as in this way and hinge or pin support can be represented as this fixed support is this so if you remember these four types of supports you can easily uh, find the solve the problems okay first i'm going to uh, start with simple support this is the beam if you see this is beam this is supported with one member this is nothing but simple supported and to find the what are the forces acting on this beam we need to convert this into free body diagram so free body diagram which has the same meaning of real diagram so here simple supported beam having only one reaction force which is vertical reaction force if you take this point as a then reaction force yet a so these both are same this is the free body diagram free body diagram f b d means free body diagram simple support uh, can be represented as like this if you see simple support b then you can represent r a only one reaction force will exit in exist in simple support beam if you want to example like simple support beam in our daily life we will see like uh, when we are making uh, roti or something uh, the pan is a uh, that pan which is placed on two bricks okay this pan is uh, placed on two bricks so the two bricks are supported ones this pan is uh, placed on these two bricks this is example for simple support and the second one is roller support it is also exists it can also represented as in free body diagram 
this is the beam roller support having only one vertical reaction force if you take this point as a then here we having only vertical reaction force and that is ra will exist in roller support okay and this roller support may be placed in a installed in a, a horizontal or vertical or inclined means if you see here this is in horizontal this is this roller support is installed in horizontal if you see here it uh, if uh, they applied in like this then this is nothing but this is nothing but the, uh, horiz horizontally applied this one this this is horizontal this one is vertically installed so then reaction force is perpendicular to this point okay and if you see inclined they can may they may installed in inclined also okay if in this type then the reaction force should be perpendicular to this surface okay in this way we can uh, write the free body diagram for any given roller support and the next one is hinged support hinged support which resist both horizontal and vertical forces so it has both horizontal and vertical if you take this point as a then the reaction forces at this point having vertically as well as horizontally so reaction forces we will indicate as r okay here horizontal so at a point in horizontal a h here at a point here vertical reaction force a h means uh, at point a the reaction force in horizontal direction here a v means in vertical direction at point for the reaction force is acting for hinged or pinned support there are two reaction force will be exist okay and uh, example for this hinged or pinned support is our doors and coming to next one one next one is fixed support so in fixed support it has both horizontal and vertical reactions as well as momentum okay if you see this point it has in horizontal reaction horizontal reaction and also vertical reaction and moment okay this moment uh, moment can be represented as m at point a moment at a so if you see types of forces there are four types one is simple and roller hinged and fixed supports simple support having only one reaction force best example for the simple support is pan which is placed on bricks this is one of the example for simple support next one is roller support it has also having only one reaction force which is in vertical direction and which is perpendicular to the react perpendicular to the this roller support okay and next one is hinged or pinned support it has having it having two reaction forces one is horizontal another is vertical and fixed supports having both horizontal vertical and having moment so it restrict all the motions okay in this way types of reef supports can be identified and next we will see types of beams okay now we will see types of beams there are two types of beams one is statically determined beams another one is statically indetermined beams statically determined means the beams which are having forces that forces can be calculated by using only static equilibrium equations then that beams are called statically determined beams that is static equilibrium equations is nothing but we know that uh, some of the forces are acting on the x direction equal to zero and some of the forces acting on the y direction is equal to zero and mm -hmm. momentum some of the momentum acting on the booming momentum equal to on the b some of the momentum acting on a beam equal to zero these uh, are called as 
స్టాటిక్ ఈక్విలిబ్రియం కండిషన్స్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ కండిషన్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ కెన్ డిటర్మైన్ ద ఫోర్సెస్ అన్నౌన్ ఫోర్సెస్ యాక్టింగ్ ఆన్ ఏ బీమ్ దెన్ దట్ బీమ్స్ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ స్టాటికల్లీ డిటర్మైన్డ్ బీమ్స్ ఇఫ్ ఇఫ్ అ బీమ్ హ్యావింగ్ మోర్ దెన్ త్రీ ఆర్ ఫోర్ అన్ మోర్ దెన్ త్రీ అన్నౌన్ ఫోర్సెస్ దట్ ఫోర్సెస్ కె నాట్ బీ calculated using these uh, static equilibrium equations so that the type of beams are called statically indeterminate beams in statical first we will see statically determined beams there are four types of beams one is simply supported beam and second one is beam with one end is hinged and another end is roller third one is overhanging beam fourth one is cantilever beam we know that the simple support means uh, which having only simple set of support that is only vertical reaction will be there okay and if you see here a uh, simple support b means uh, these beams having only simple support at their ends and having only vertical forces acting on beam then those beams are called simply supported beams if you write reaction forces for this here here we will have one reaction force at a and one reaction force at b so there are two reaction forces so only two unknowns are there so with the help of uh, equilibrium forces that is sum of the forces acting on y which is equal to zero with the help of this this and uh, some of the momentum along uh, some of the moments which is equal to zero with the help of these two uh, static equilibrium equations we can find the two unknowns of simply supported beam so it will comes under statically determined beams and next one is beam with one end is hinged one end is hinged and another end is roller this name itself it saying one end is hinged and another one is rollers and if you write reaction forces for this beam here for hinged we have two reaction forces in horizontal and in vertical so if you write for this i am writing here here one reaction force in vertical at a and one horizontal reaction force and here we have f1 and here we have f2 and for roller only one reaction force which will act upward so with the help of sig here we have three unknowns so sigma fx equal to 0 and sigma fy equal to 0 sigma moment equal to 0 with the help of these three equal static equilibrium equations we can find the reaction force unknown force acting on this beam okay so this is a uh, beam with have one end is hinged and another one is roller now we will see overhanging beam so if you see here overhanging beam so overhanging beam is nothing but if the beam is extends beam support if the this beam extends this support then that beam is called overhanging beam this may be one side may be overhanging or it may be two sides it exceeds the supports then those uh, beams are called overhanging beam if you see the reaction forces this is hinged support so here we have two reaction forces in vertical and one is horizontal here we have one reaction force in vertical at b so here three unknowns we have three static equilibrium conditions with the help of these conditions we can find unknowns for this beam here also one reaction force at here or a and there are two reaction forces for hinged support in vertical direction in horizontal direction okay these here also three unknown forces so we have three equilibrium conditions with the help of this three equilibrium conditions we can find the three 
unknown forces acting on this beam and next one is cantilever beam the beam which having one end is fixed the type of uh, and another end is free then this type of beam is called cantilever beam it having fixed support having so this point is a fixed support having both horizontal reaction force and vertical here itself or a v vertical and it has also having moment so this uh, it ha it has having three unknowns and with the help of three static equilibrium conditions we can find the unknown forces on the cantilever beam so it is also comes under statically determined beam now we will see statically indetermined beams here the here also four types are there one is continuous beam and one is fixed beam and one is probed cantilever beam and another one is beam with both ends hinged continuous beam means beam having continuous uh, supports more than two supports then this uh, beam is called continuous beam if you, if you see the reaction forces here we have one reaction force every one is a roller support so here we have only one reaction force in vertical direction rb here this one is if you say this one c then it is c so ra rb and rc we have three unknown forces so here only origin only vertical force is acting so here we can sigma fy equal to zero we can use and here moment about y axis can be used with the help of these two equations we can't find three unknowns so it is also comes under statically indetermined beams and or if we having both roller and one hinged then this is also comes under continuous beam which is statically indetermined beams if you write a uh, reaction forces for these if you see here reaction force here if you write this point is a b c then reaction force is at a in vertical direction and reaction force in horizontal direction here roller support reaction force at b reaction force at c so here we have four unknowns so with four unknowns we can't with we have only three equations so we can't find this unknowns so it is also comes under statically indetermined beams and with the help of these uh, examples you, you can uh, learn how to uh, write a reaction forces for each support you can learn everything from this example so uh, listen carefully okay and fixed beam fixed beam is nothing but both the ends are fixed then the beam is said to be fixed beams okay in cantilever beam only one end is fixed and another end is free then that is said to be cantilever beam if the both ends are fixed then that beam is said to be fixed ends it having both horizontal vertical and couple moment so here also both horizontal vertical and couple so here three unknowns three unknowns so total six unknowns six unknowns so those six unknowns cannot be calculated using three equations so this is comes under statically indetermined beams and this one is probed cantilever beams means one end is fixed and another end is maybe roller support or hinged support then that beams are said to be probed cantilever beam if you see reaction forces here reaction forces in horizontal direction reaction force in vertical direction momentum along this point here only one reaction force at the end here also three forces here hinged support means two in a horizontal and in vertical direction similarly beam with both ends are hinged if you see both ends or ends are hinged here we have two reactions so r a h or a v and r a 
which both the horizontal and vertical here b or b h and reaction force b at vertical so four unknowns we can't identify so sorry we can't find using these three equations so this comes under statically indeterminate beams so these are the types of beams and uh, we studied uh, before types of supports no and uh, so these are types of supports and these are types of beams okay i think uh, the concept is clear to everyone if anyone have any doubt please comment below uh, if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching